Why, hello there, everyone. This is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 34 of Super Mario RPG. Hooray. Anyways, um, last time, we spent a buttload of coins getting the mystery egg, which I will explain in this episode, and the Game Boy from this guy. Um, but one thing that I thought I should take note of before we continue on is that, uh, in the SNES version, like the original version that I'm not playing on, I'm playing on the Virtual Console for the Wii, because that's the most accessible version, um, apparently you can get this Game Boy from this guy a lot earlier and for free, too. So that's definitely a better deal than this one. I don't know why they would change that, but yeah. So thanks to Lady's Cage for that, for leaving comments about that. There you go. Alright, what do you say now? Want me to teach you? Uh, no thanks. I already know, stupid. Oh, you're no fun. Well, whatever. Yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm using a new headset in this video. Um, it's the same headset I used in my deafness update thing video. So, it's not entirely new. You've heard it before, but just let me know what you guys think. Alright. So, now that we're done with all that stuff... We're going to go ahead and progress with the story here. Past the sea to the sunken ship? No. Um, where am I supposed to go again? Do I go to the sunken ship? I don't think so. Oh, balls. I forget where I'm supposed to go. Well, let's just go here. Let's just go here for now. And maybe up to here. I don't know. Let's see. Um, I really don't remember what to do. Wow. Okay, well, I am a failure of an lp -er. There you go. Oh, jeez. Is there something back here I can go where... Eh? 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 This is not fun. Not fun at all. Alright. At least the music's nice, but I can't hear it because the furnace is going or something. I don't know. Ah. Oh. Well, what am I? What am I doing? Showing you guys this? Like, let's go to the sunken ship. Sure. I see. Uh, looks boring. Didn't look boring before, but now it does because I've already read it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and look up something really quick. Hold on. I, I'm sorry about this. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Sorry for that fatally wasted time there. But apparently, it's just as simple as going up here and talking to the Elder. Yeah, really. Couldn't believe it either. Mario, if it's a star that you're looking for, I may be able to help you. At the far side of Land's End, this town is made up is made up of reformed monsters. A mouse came over by... What? A mouse came by the other day? I'll roll with it. And I overheard him boasting about a star of theirs. I don't know exactly where this town is located, but if you... You said the other side of land ends, stupid. But if you follow the road, you'll get there. Well, now can I go to Land's End? That's a kind of a strange name for an area, don't you think? Like, Land's End. Wouldn't you think this would be, like, the end of the game or something up here? To Land's End. And we reach a new section of the world map. That's cool. Well, this is probably one of my favorite areas of the game. Just, I don't know why. Just the atmosphere is very Mario-ish, in my opinion. All right. Um, and now, there's going to be quite a few hidden treasure chests around here, so just bear with me as I do this. Okay, here's a cannon. Ooh, this looks fun. Kind of looks like a fat version of Flood to me. I don't know. Okay, and maybe? Come on. There's got to be a chest here. Let me see. Uh, stay on the far corner of the platform. Okay. Oh, crap. That's not the far... Well, that is the far corner. Far cry from the far corner. So you want to stand around there? Jump. Okay. Jump. There we go. What did I get? A red essence. That's cool. That's totally worth more than a mushroom. I can tell you that much right now. What the? Stupid. Should probably save right there, but nah. Oh, stop. No. There you go. That's how you do it. That's how you do it to it. Okay. Now, yeah, basically this first part of Land's End isn't too exciting. It's just an assortment of cannons and stuff. Nothing major. We Whoa! Hello. What are these guys? I don't know. Let's just avoid them like the plague right now. Oh, God damn it. 
Well, I guess I'll show this. These are like three new enemies right here. Holy crap. And this is the Chow, the Octovader, and the Shogun. I don't know why, but the Shoguns always seem to amuse me. They're just like awesome beetle samurai things. I don't know. Yeah, but at Land's End here, the enemies are going to take a bit of a step upwards in difficulty, I should say. Um, they're not really too difficult if you've trained well enough, and I kind of haven't, but yeah. Oh, well. Oh, I should probably be explaining the... Uh, stuff action commands for these new weapons shouldn't I miss oh you miss with a lightning bolt you suck all right ah uh, 145 not bad okay so for Gino's action command on his double punch there's pretty much the same as every other weapon just like right as, he about, right as he's about to fire is when you press a again for Mario he still has the masher so no sense in explaining that we've had for like what 20 parts now I don't know HP max sweet and Peach, it's when her parasol hits the down swing, like that. Right there. That's when you press A. Okay, stupid shoguns. You can just go die. Double punch to the belly. And I kill you. Alright now. Ooh, Bowser level up. Reach level 14. You know what that means. Actually, no, you don't. Wait, what? One. Two, ten, one. I have no idea. At this point, I've like lost track of Bowser's leveling up specially, because... I just don't see his, his as, as much important stuff. Boing! Okay, seriously, can, can I? Ah, crap. Fiddlesticks. Let's just run. Couldn't run. What? I'm trying to get up on that platform because I know there's like invisible blocks up there or whatever. No! Okay. Um. Stand between the cannon and the plateau. Alright, I can do that I suppose, but let's just get out of here before Mario's face turns even bluer. Sorry for like the random instances where I'm not commentating or anything. I have to- No, stupid! Wow. Well that was idiotic, but I didn't take any damage at least. Hey, no! Oh my goodness. How many times can you get into the same battle? Jeez. Okay. Apparently three. Ah, uh, I know there's like a platform somewhere here. Hey, stupid. You know, I'm just going to deal with this guy. I don't even care anymore. Right, you die, stupid chow. Attack up. That's nice. And mash, 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 mash. Button masher. Eh, this is a bit of a button masher. Not too much. I've played worse button mashers in my day. Why am I showing you this? Okay, now that I've dealt with both of those guys, let's see if we can figure this little puzzle here out. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's the platform that I want to activate. Alright, it's a little bit of a hidden platform there. You can jump up here, and now, perfect. And there's a hidden thing there with a Kira Kira Cola in it. Uh, mushroom. Why do I still have mushrooms anyways? I can know they're like a staple and stuff, but, you know, just, just know. What? How do I get that one? I jump high enough? Uh, uh, uh. Stupid! 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 Oh, that's no fun. Okay, maybe. Let's see. What the hell? There you go. That's how you do it. Okay, that's a frog coin, so that's definitely worth it. And now, are we finally onto the aspect I actually kind of like about this place? Uh, doesn't look like it. Jumping salamanders, whatever. Uh, whoa! Okay. Well, here are some new enemies. Interesting. The Gekit and the Spinthra. Ooh. They sound absolutely terrifying. But really, they're not. I think these guys are, like, really easy. And even if you, like, don't kill them in one hit like you should be doing. Um, oh, once again, nice. They will, I think they're, like, a confused enemy and they often just, like, attack their own friends and stuff, so... Yeah, it's really no huge deal. Hmm. Oh, I can't think of any interesting commentary to talk about. What can I talk about? Today is the uh, January 11th, I think it is. Uh, something like that. I don't know. January 11th. Yeah, it's one 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 one, I guess. But it's it's 7:14 p.m. So that 
can't, can't make like any more ones than that, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, so, uh, nothing of much interest happened today. Caution, confu yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Exactly. Nothing of much interest happened today, just, you know, standard school stuff, preparing for exams. And if any of you are still in school, which I know a lot of you are, you know how much exams completely suck balls. I have a French and English exams to get ready for. Yeah, those are like my two least favorite subjects of all. But, yeah, you gotta get them done of it somehow. Or at some point, I should say. Yeah, there's probably something I'd like the end here, so. At the end of Land's End, you know. Uh, one interesting thing that actually happened today is that I fell off a rock and then ran into a lizard. No. Is that I, um. I got pulled out of school at like 9 30 ish, which is just a little bit into first period for me. Just, and it was by my dad because he needed help loading up a truck because my sister moved out to college and he was going to drive a truck with her stuff out there. Uh, I don't know why, I, there's got to be like a simpler way to get the stuff out there like driving from Calgary to Vancouver, but, you know, there's, I guess that's just the way it's going to be. Okay, Mario reached level 15, halfway to maximum level, uh. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Booyah. Yeah. I don't think I've said that like 30 is the maximum level in this game. At least I think it is. Correct me if I'm wrong, but whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. So my sister went out to college in Vancouver. She's going to the Vancouver Film School. They've accomplished some awesome things, I know. They, like, worked on the likes of Avatar, uh, other things, I don't know. They've worked on some great movies. You can check it out if you want. But other than that, I haven't had much interest in my day today. 121, that's 11 squared for you. Oh, yes, I'm a math nerd. See, in school, I, I like prefer math over this languages because math is simple. There's like formulas and stuff to follow. In English, there's like nothing. It's just like you have to be... Like, I'm more of a left-sided brain person. Or is that... Is that right? <laughs> you attacked yourself by... How does that even work? You spit out your tongue. And you hit yourself with it? Whatever. Ah. Oh, doesn't make any less sense than Pokemon hurting themselves in confusion. Though in that one, I just, like, imagine them running into a wall or something. Okay. Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15... Alright, what time am I at here? Um, do do do, 13 minutes? Wow, I haven't come far in 13 minutes. Alright, I know there's another thing hidden around here, don't even kid me. There's like two more hidden boxes around here, hidden treasure chests. Um, just for your... Okay, well I'm just gonna go. Alright, here's a save block for you. If that's your kind of thing, it is for me I suppose. Because I want to save my progress, otherwise... Well... Otherwise, I have to play through the game every freaking sing every single freaking time, just in order to okay no ah, just in order to keep on with the let's play. So here's a stinger. It's like another version of the zinger. Ah, oh, basically just like a red zinger from Donkey Kong Country. Complete ripoff, I know. Hmm. Oh, once again, again. Yay. And he's not dead. Of course, you stupid Octo lot. That's not what this guy's called, right? He's an Octo Vader. Yeah. I could eat an Octo Vader. No, it doesn't work quite as well as Octo lot. Octo Vader, that's such a weird one. Yeah, I know. There's gotta be something here. Hey, no, stupid. Oh, this doesn't look fun. Alright guys, um, there's like a hidden, there it is, there's the hidden treasure chest, treasure chest, yes. And, uh, I think we're pretty much about to reach the end of the episode here pretty soon. Not right away, not yet. Okay. Oh, come on, I could totally just jump up there. If you were really Super Mario, you could totally make that jump. Anyways, ooh, hello. What is this? What is this random bridge that's like half-built? in a very strange manner. Well, 
you will find out next time on Super Mario RPG. Uh, I think I've been, like, really random this episode. No, there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, you guys might like it. I think I'm be getting more random as time goes on. I don't know. I'm changing as an LP here. Bah. It always happens. But, thank you everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.